Hey everyone, welcome to our final fall broadcast. I am Ranger Allie. I'm Ranger Carl. And we're really excited that you all joined us for all nine weeks oh of our gosh. fall broadcast. It's been a ride. Feels and, like years. Yeah, and Feels. we've seen beautiful color throughout. Uh, but we're here to tell you that the color will not be throughout, but just in some areas now. Uh, just like you can see right behind us, we have mostly bare trees. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we do have those pops of color, just as you can see over my shoulder, um, of those yellows. A lot of golden colors this year. Yeah, and honestly, if you're looking for the leaves coming into the park, you just have to look down. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Had to. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can make little like fall leaf angels if you'd like Perfect. to. <laughs> so we have a couple things to go over just to kind of wrap up the season and what to look forward to next. So we're going to go over a list of items and just stay tuned for um, other announcements that we will definitely share uh, either on our website, on social media. Uh, we might even do more broadcast in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> but first and foremost, in the next couple of weeks, we do have a special event coming up on November 11th, which of course is Veterans Day. Now, Veterans Day is a fee-free day for the entire park service. So not only do you get into the park for free on that day, but also Shenandoah here, we're going to be doing a nice special event uh, coordinated with a uh, group called Project Healing Water, which is a nonprofit to help uh, veterans reconnect uh, through uh, fly fishing. So from 9 to 3 at both Dickey Ridge and Bird Visitor Centers, they'll be doing uh, fly tying demos. I always get a fly <laughs> tying demos and a fly fishing casting demonstration. Yeah, absolutely. Check those out. Uh, it's a fee-free day. It's a free event to all. So if you want to participate, just go to the visitor centers that day. We also want to remind visitors that day use tickets for Old Rag are still needed until November or through November 30th. December 1, you no longer need a day use ticket. So just a reminder that day use tickets are only needed between March 1 and November 30th. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in hiking Old Rag, uh, make sure that you have a day use ticket through the end of the month. And then in the winter, uh, you can make sure that you look at the need to know section on our website about hiking Old Rag, but you don't need a ticket. And as for other recreation in the park, of course, we're getting into the dry season this time of year. So while our picnic grounds are open year round, we always want to remind you to uh, keep your fires to the designated fire rings, bring additional water as well to help extinguish uh, any other flames as well. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in Dundo and South River picnic areas, they are the only picnic areas that don't have those frost free faucets. That's the one I Frost struggle with. Frost free faucets. <laughs> so you definitely need to bring um, a jug of water with you if you are entering those picnic areas and decide to build a fire. But thankfully for any other information you need while visiting, uh, beginning on December 2nd, Bird Visitor Center will remain open throughout the winter, yes, but they will be transitioning to a five day uh, week. So being closed on Tuesday and Wednesday and their hours will change slightly as well, uh, being open until 4.30. Yeah, and another thing that's really important to know is that if Skyline Drive is closed, the visitor center is closed as well. And a great way to keep up with that is to sign up for our SHIN Alert system. And so you can do that by texting SHIN ALERTS, all one word, all caps, to 888-777, and you will receive text updates on Skyline Drive status, and operating hour status, as well as other important safety related mm -hmm. information. Uh, and so please sign up for that. That's gonna be your best way to get information throughout the winter. And you can also check on our website in our alert section. Especially because weather on the mountain does not always reflect the weather in the valley. There's many times where it's beautiful bluebird day down here, but it's icy up on top, snowy up on top. So of course, Skyline Drive can close uh, sometimes at a whim, but, uh, pending what the weather is. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I guess that's it for fall. <sighs> I'm not ready. A, I'm, I'm not, not ready either. for it. Unless it snows. <laughs> yeah, here's hoping for a nice white winter. I hope so. And we're going to post pictures about that if it happens. Absolutely. When it happens. When it happens, We're going to manifest yes. that. Manifest. <laughs> All right. Thanks for a great season. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. This is it. <laughs>